All right, so your setup is, uh, let's start with sound. Sound, uh, these cables here are short cables, and I'm just gonna let y'all borrow them too. Okay, right. I guess, you know. Yeah, so you, these two are plugged in to mm -hmm. auxiliary three and four. Three and four. Okay, and, and on the mixer, uh, on the mixer here, let me show you. On the mixer here, if you go to bus, oh, come out of that. You see three and four is labeled live stream. Okay. And it's split left and right because it's linked. Okay. Okay. So ideally, I think I had it set at five and you just leave it there because from the live stream, somewhere it was good. All right. So that's your live stream. Uh, I already set auxiliary two as a bus, a sub, a bus for the subs. So whenever you get a sub speaker, you can just plug it in and then you can control that. Then you already know monitor one. All right, and then here, you just you just go back to like your channel here. Okay, so this is controlling the house. When you want to control live stream, just hit send the fader. And then these faders control your live stream. Okay. Okay, um, oh, let me fix this because right now it's not linked, okay. And then, uh, obviously, if you want to change that to control, like, your monitors or sub, you just hit that where it says live stream here, and then you can change what you want it to be. Like, you want to go, I want to change my subs. Well, nothing's in the sub except for the keyboard. Okay. If you had a kick, you know, a mic, you know, if you had, go on the next channel, and you had a kick mic, and then you would put that in the sub as well, you know. But nothing is in the sub except for keyboard. Oh, yeah, and that phone audio... I plug that. I plug that directly in the channel, so it's in the last channel, channel 16. Okay. Instead of having it in this aux, because uh, if you put it in a channel, then you can you can put it in the live stream. Okay, gotcha. You can control where it goes. Okay. In the aux, you don't have that option. It just plays through your house. Right. So, um, so it's it's on channel 16. It's, it's labeled phone audio. Okay. So it's already plugged in. All you got to do is, you know, you already know how to do the rest of it. All right. So that's that. Okay. So live stream audio is here. It's plugged in and it, it'll plug into here. I mean, if you want just to make your breakdown, everything easier, you can just unplug the USB here and then put this in here in with here. that. Okay. That's what okay. I'm going to do. And so there's your interface. Everything's set at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So you don't... Um, uh, where it says main out and headphone jack, uh, that's that's turned down because main out is like if you plug the speakers in the back. Got and then headphone, what you can do if you want to hear it live, you can plug your headphones right here. You can plug your headphones in right there and turn your headphone jack, home headphone by, and you can hear your live stream mix live. Okay. You know, and that's what I would do. I didn't even think about that when I was doing it earlier. I'm sitting here listening through my through my phone. Right. But that's the backup way. Let's do YouTube, but it's a delay. Right. But if you hear it here, you hear it live. Okay. And then you can whatever adjustment you make, you make it right then. Okay. You hear it right then. So all right, so that's there. It plugs into here, and then uh, and then you got your Ethernet cable. I went online and bought a hundred foot Ethernet cable on Amazon for like. Forty something dollars, right? And it's this flat one, and so this worked. I mean, it went back there and all the way across. And I got it going behind the table, then down the wall, and then in there. So 100 foot is big enough for this room, you know, and it'd be out the way. Okay. So, you know, but it made sure that you didn't have no drops and stuff. Right. So that's that, and then you got your stream yard. All right, I didn't show you this before, so real quick, uh, if you go to past it'll show what videos that you did okay it'll save your facebook and your youtube if you want to go watch you just click on it um you need a mouse no <laughs> you just oh 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 my bad sorry right here click on it and then it gives you options what you want to do if you want to download it but you don't have to you can view it on facebook and view it on youtube Okay. If you want to share, you can share it. So that's how you can go back and watch your stuff. Um, and so, but, and, and on your package, let me just make this big real quick. You have 50 hours of record time. So the storage, 
the storage is everything that if you go over here the storage is everything every time you go live it saves it in your cloud account okay if you get close to 50 it'll turn yellow and they'll say you need to start deleting or whatever yeah, exactly. so what you would do is YouTube is like your own personal cloud so you can you can delete you can delete the recording like I can go here and say delete recording and it's gonna say okay are you sure you want to permanently delete recording or da, 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 da. Uh, broadcast this recording will also be deleted in your video library Okay. And if this recorder is embedded elsewhere, it no longer will play. So if you had embedded in your website, it wouldn't play no more. Gotcha. But if you go here and you say, I want to delete the broadcast, just choose one. It'll say, you know, which one you want to delete it from. You want to delete it from, any, well, well, basically, it'll delete it out of here. But it, you can say, I want to delete it on Facebook. Well, we don't want to do that. Yeah. So basically, you can delete it out of your space, but Without leave it on the Facebook. Gotcha. That's what I wanted to show you. All right, so upcoming, create, uh, uh, and then you just choose, uh, obviously, both of them for one create, whatever the crazy reason I didn't put your title in. I will suggest that every time you put a title in, Sunday service and the date. Gotcha. So that way, when you go back and look for it, you know what it is. Because gotcha. there's another church, they don't put nothing. They just put Sunday service. Okay. And then they don't know what's Sunday. You go go back and gotta watch. Okay. So put Sunday service and date and then here, you know, put the bishop and address or whatever. You know, and then once you go to your oh I, I just, they won't let you do nothing without typing nothing, so I'm gonna type something. Okay. Um, if you wanted to do a test or you wanna do a test recording or you wanna you wanna uh, uh, record your rehearsal, you can do that, just record only. So it doesn't stream it; it just records it, and you can always go back and share that recording. I got you. You know, so. Yes, sir. I think he went back there. Yeah, he's just showing me, showing me stuff for Sunday. So. He's just showing me the stuff for Sunday. Okay, and then. Oh, uh, what time are you gonna be up? Okay. So you want here? Bishop, Bishop Young. Create broadcast. What time are you gonna be on tomorrow? Okay, so I was talking about, about not right, but I was talking about to set up the one stuff outside. I'll talk about nine thirty. About nine thirty. Okay. All right. So did I see you on Sunday? All right. You said. Didn't start your broadcast. If I were you, I would like just have some music playing so that you can see your audio. But basically, your audio is automatic. Once you plug in your your uh, audio box, it's gonna automatically connect. So it automatically says it. If for some reason you need to see the settings, you can go in settings. And it's gonna show you your camera, which is showing that camera right now. Right. And then you know because we got the we got it open, you can hit shift. Change. So gotcha. shift right. So you don't necessarily have to have OBS in your screen in your visible. You ain't got to see OBS. As long as you got it open, you got it set up. Then you can just shift right and you can change cameras. That's all you're gonna be doing OBS. You ain't got to do anything else in OBS. Okay. And then if you want to see your audio, then this says your audio box is your input and output. And make sure it's always on stereo audio. If you put it on echo. It's gonna sound pixelated. It's gonna sound horrible. And then, and then, don't put automatic or just mic because it'll it'll adjust because it has like it has a built-in compressor. Okay. So just leave it. This is set like at 100, and so this is you know this is it. So if something happens with your audio, just go here. You can go back and watch this video, but go here and, and stereo only. Make sure if none of these other boxes are checked. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna see this bouncing like you have music. You're gonna see that green light bouncing. All right. Gotcha. And then after that, you enter the studio, um, and then you're not live and or you're not streaming until you hit add to add stream. stream. Once you add to stream, and now you're ready to stream. And then what I'll do is later on, we'll do like a little thing on on. Uh, I'll Man, show you. Know. I'll show you how to download uh, intros and stuff like that. Like you can do the uh, five minute countdown, so you can have a five minute countdown and all this other kind of stuff before you go live and everything else. So it buys you some little time. And then like you know you have the 
I had that create that banner and just put that in there so you can create banners and then you can have banners for different stuff so you can create a folder for like Sunday you can create this folder for this conference you know so on and so on so you can have banners for different stuff you got different speakers so you can delete these we'll just go ahead and delete them now because you won't need them but basically you got that and then you can create other banners bishop and everything else brand you know we did the purple uh, uh, download the logo and then go here and add the logo oh okay got you yeah. Gotcha. So, uh, and then the logo will show up right there in the corner. Right. Uh, and and then um, overlay is like, um, say for instance, you had a um, a, a, um, a flyer. You know, like they had that flyer of, of this conference. Mm -hmm. You can download the overlay. You can download that flyer and then upload it as an overlay. And then when you click it, it'll lay over this here. Gotcha. You know, and so you can show it as a flyer. Then you can take it off. You know. Gotcha. Um, uh, and then when we download the um, countdowns, that's where, that's where that will go. Okay. You know, we'll do the countdown there. Uh, you won't have to worry about backgrounds. The backgrounds is if you were doing a, if Bishop was doing like a one-on-one -on -one with someone or a group group meeting and he wanted to record it, you know, whatever. Or he wanted to do a group meeting with everybody, he can invite up to 10 people. And then, so the back the, the background would be this stuff here, you know. Did Bishop do your shirt? Yes. Okay. And then, and then you don't have to worry about background music unless, you know, y'all are doing something special. So that's down the line, but you just know that that's optional to you. Okay. okay. And that's it. I mean, you, once you go live, it's going to ask you, you sure you, you're ready to go live, and then you go live. Got it. Okay. And then while you're going live, you can see here, I want to see it on Facebook, or I want to see it on YouTube, and you can do that, and it'll pop up there. Just okay. make sure that if you do watch, if you do pull it up, and then make sure that when it comes up that you mute it. Otherwise, it'll feed back into your deal. Okay. So this is your computer. You can actually log me. Oh, oh I'm not logged in. I logged in. Okay. Because okay. when it, whenever you pull up another person, it pulls up another window. So if I were you, uh, I don't know how to delete it, but I know I, was, I had to, I had put it in there last Sunday when I was here, and I, I live streamed from my account. But um, but yeah. So basically, you want to make sure you're in your account. I do. Yeah, Grace Covenant. Yeah. So that way, when you pull up the YouTube, it'll pull up here. Right. That's what I, I, yeah, I found and figured it was yeah. Grace Covenant. Yeah. All right. And so that's that. And then and then uh, you stop virtual camera and then you can exit. Gotcha. Uh, if you exit and you don't stop the virtual camera, it'll just it'll tell you you need to stop virtual okay, camera. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, I'm gonna leave this like this. Yeah, yeah, and then just yeah. fold so that not, in. You're not taking anything. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and then, and then um, I mean, you know, the keyboard. Oh, you just not said off. that. Uh, mute that uh, channel. Hold on. I'm going to mute that channel, Charles. So, since that keyboard doesn't have a stereo output, mm -hmm. you know, just. Right in seven, just put it in, in seven. Okay. And 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 then and then that's it. Uh, you gotta grab your stuff too. Yeah, I'm gonna undo my stuff. And that's it.